What is good guys, it's your boy Mike back with another episode of Strand and Thread. So about 4 months prior to this I got a full head of highlights and today I'm back at the lobby hair shop with my man Nick to get some more foils done to bring back that colour that I've already grown out. This particular cut we went in with a hard low drop fade. Nick starts off by demarcating the line where the fade will take place and then removes some of the length with scissors. I recommend that for anyone looking to get the hair cut that you first get the hair cut and then apply the colour. This is just so that you know how much hair you're dealing with and that you don't waste any colour. A number 4 guard is used to blend the hard line of the long hair to seam to transition into the fade. Now for the fade Nick starts off with a number 2 and then gradually works his way down with a 0 guard. Now last time we coloured my hair we used an ash blonde, a beige, a bleach as well as leaving of some of my natural hair colour in. Seeing as though there's still quite a decent amount of colour in my hair, this time we're only adding a few foils here and there. Now a lot of people go in the salon and just ask for one colour but what I want to do is try to use a few different tones to try and emulate the natural feel of blonde hair as people with naturally blonde hair don't only have one colour blonde. You'll notice that we're not brushing the colour all the way to the root, but rather leaving some of my natural hair colour in as this creates not only depth but also dynamics to the overall finish. Nick uses a rat tail comb to weave in and out of the hair which means I won't end up with segments of hair colour but rather an even spread of intertwined tones of the various blondes. Don't be shocked when your stylist removes the foils and rinses your hair out to find that your hair still looks dark. After a quick blow dry, trust me you'll see the transformation. Time to remove some of the dead weight at the top, blend the sides a little bit more as they were looking a little bit too heavy. Style. And we're done. If you're thinking about getting your hair colored, I strongly advise you to consult a professional as they know what they're doing and hopefully you won't end up with something you immediately regret. Thanks so much for watching guys, smash the like button if you enjoyed this and hey, consider subscribing if you're new here. Till next time guys, Bye for now.